Always provide a code, and this game breakdown is brought to you by Evolve Terminal. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Early Breakdown. I'm Nardograph. Early Breakdown is when I take a look at games that are still in early access that look interesting. Today, we are going to be talking about a game called Tomb Towers. Tomb Towers is a puzzle platformer. It pays homage to a lot of old retro PC games. In fact, the graphics were what attracted me to the game because they look really retro and colorful and nice. Basic loop of the game is you you go through these levels in this tower and you're trying to stop this necromancer in order to save your town. And each room is basically a puzzle where you have to platform your way and avoid dying to the various hazards, being fire, spikes, or platforms. It's really fun. The puzzles aren't too hard, but they're challenging. It's mostly timing. The timing ones are probably the hardest. In order to help with that, you can switch between three speeds on the game. It can make it really slow, normal speed, or, or fast. And that helps with the timing a little bit. So the timing puzzles aren't that hard. The hardest part, I would say, would be the moving platforms. Sometimes jumping the moving platforms can be a bit finicky. You try to jump on a platform and then you hit the side and that kills you. Even though like you're not getting crushed or anything. You just touch the side of the platform, that kills you. That can be a little annoying also. There are three towers and each tower has a diamond and around 20 or so gems that you have gotta collect, essentially. It's around, I think, two to three hours of gameplay so far. The game is in early access, though, so for a game in early access, that's pretty good. What is there is good. There's also a couple of nightmare levels that you can play that are harder than the normal levels. However, in the main towers, you get... And a certain number of lives, you can get more lives, but you get a certain number of lives in order to beat it. And if you die, you go back all the way to the start of the tower. That can get a little annoying. For example, let's say you're in the last room, you only have one life, you died, and you go back to the start. You have to go through all the way again. However, that's kind of remedied by the fact that you don't really have to solve the room again. The door to the next room will already be open, so that's not much of an issue, I would say. You can just speed the game up and go all the way to the end without having to worry about solving the room. It, let's say a room took you about five to ten minutes to solve. You can, if you have to go through it again, it will take you like less than a second or less than a minute, I should say. For what is there, honestly, the game is fun. I enjoyed it. Now, I'm not sure what the devs are planning on adding to the game. They already added, since I played it, they added an achievement of beating the game all the towers without dying, which I can't imagine is, would be that tough. I'm gonna guess they'll probably do more levels. But this is definitely a game you should keep an eye on. It's just five bucks on Steam. It's a steal, honestly. It's, if you like the graphics, if you like those old retro style games, or, or even if you just enjoy puzzle platformers, like 2D puzzle platformers, this is definitely a good game to get. It's five bucks on Steam. A lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I recommend it. The links will be on the description. Catch you on the flip side. Bye bye